What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 52 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So if you want to participate, make sure to watch the video linked below. But ladies and gentlemen, without wasting any more time, let the Setup Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always everyone's gear for their setups will be linked down below if anyone is interested but here are your 5 lucky contestants for this week. We have Dustin, Sam, Nick, Kaylin and Justin. Congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the show, we have Dustin and his single monitor setup, a 34 inch ASUS ROG Swift ultra wide monitor hooked up to the Freedom Arm. On the massive desk, we have the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard and a Logitech G502 mouse on top of the enormous Neonix mouse pad. I like how you kept the black theme consistent across the entire setup. We got black audio engine A5 Plus speakers, black headphone stand, and even a black LED lamp. Job well done. Cable management is excellent. Great use of the cable clips routing the wires on the roof of the desk. And I even noticed that you used a cable channel for your wall shelves, as well as a cable box for your power strip. Someone's been watching my videos for a while. It doesn't even stop there. We have a cable tube for his PC wires. I have never been more proud. The PC that's powering the setup has a 6700K overclocked to 4.7 and a Zotac Extreme Amp GTX 980 Ti. The rest of your room is extremely OCD friendly. I mean, everything is organized and very clean. What can I say, a pretty solid setup to start off the show. Thank you Dustin for entering. Sam I am is next up with a tri display setup. Now at first I thought this was a Mac setup from the misleading wallpaper, but it's actually a Windows PC. So we have two 24 inch LG monitors and a 32 inch LG smart TV right above. On the desk we have the Cooler Master Octane keyboard and mouse bundle on top of the all key mouse pad. We also have a pair of JVC bookshelf speakers and a blue snowball mic right there in the center. I love the symmetry, but I can't say the same about the choice of color on those speakers. It looks like Sam went with the IKEA Linman desk with some Alex drawers underneath. We do have a headphone anchor for his M50Xs and a headphone amp that's mounted against the roof. Cable management looks very clean from this angle, but looking in the corner we can see the true disaster. A cable box will definitely help keep the power strip and brick hidden neatly away, and even using simple things like velcro straps to tie the cables together will really clean up the mess back there. The PC that's powering the setup has an FX6350 that's overclocked to 4.1 and a GTX 960. Besides the cable management, this is a very clean setup. Thank you Sam for entering. Coming in at number 3 is Nick with a very modest black and red setup. We have two 27 inch BenQ monitors, the right one being a regular display and the one on the left being a gaming monitor with a 1 millisecond response time and a 70 hz refresh rate. On the desk we have the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard, Sabre RGB mouse on top of the Corsair extended mouse pad. We also have the famous Cloud2 gaming headset on the Elegiant headset stand and a DX Racer chair to complete the setup. The PC he is using on the other hand desperately needs a GPU upgrade but it's currently rocking a 4460 and a GTX 650. Cable management isn't really the best, I mean this can definitely be fixed by using some velcro straps and these super thick cable sleeves since you do have a bunch of cables down there. These are actually better than the Omni mount sleeve that I keep recommending since it comes with a zipper function making the job a lot easier. You could also watch my cable management video if you need more tips. Other than that, it's a pretty sweet setup. Thank you, Nick, for entering. Now, this is something I haven't seen before on the show. We have Kaylin with dual ultra wides that are hooked up to a monitor arm. Not sure how I feel about this, but it definitely looks cool. The desk itself is the IKEA Linman, which is actually modded to fit his height. On the desk, we have a Corsair keyboard and a Vengeance mouse on top of the white extended mouse pad and a pair of Logitech Z320 speakers near the back. Cable management looks pretty good from what I can see. It looks like we also have an Xbox One on the bottom and a Corsair Void headset hanging from the desk. The PC on the other hand doesn't really look attractive. I mean there's a random SSD that's trying to escape and a cluster of wires that's all over the place. Not much else you can do with the headset wire but if you want to clean up the overall look I would consider hanging the headset off to the side of your desk so that way the cables aren't visible when you do decide to hang it. 
A very interesting setup, no doubt. Thank you, Kaylin, for entering. Last but not least, we have Justin with another interesting setup. So we have a giant 42-inch Wasabi 4K monitor sandwiched by two M Audio Studio monitors, which are resting on the IKEA LAC shelves. It doesn't seem like it's symmetrical, but it still looks awesome. On the desk, we have the Poker 3 mechanical keyboard and Logitech G502 mouse on top of the Artisan mouse pad. We also have a Vegeta figurine in his Super Saiyan God mode, keeping watch from up there, and a nice set of lenses below the speakers. Now, the PC here is a completely different story. This here is a custom modded water cool build. It's running a 5820K that's overclocked to 4.2, and it's paired with a single GTX 980 Ti. Custom S lights panel, power coded case and brackets, and finally a custom aqua computer circuit wired to allow control for all lights, fans, and pumps through windows. This is the mother of all mods. That is insane. I'm fairly certain the cable management is on point, and yep, it sure is. After all, why wouldn't it be if you can do that to a PC? There are, however, a few extra things on the desk that kind of make it look cluttered. Simply adding a stand for your smartphone and tablet would really clean it up, and even minor things like attaching an SD card reader on the roof of that shelf will contribute to a much cleaner desk. Despite the alignment of those speaker shelves, I say that this is one badass setup. Thank you, Justin, for entering. But that will do for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup and announce the winners on my Twitter and Instagram on Sunday. So basically, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy Setup Wars, make sure to leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video.